Ahoy! Welcome back to Adventure Center. Today, exploring Seattle with my brother and my brother-in-law. Uh, right now we're walking into the China District in Seattle and we're looking for a dim sum spot. Oh, there's a market. I might have to check this out in a sec. Man, badass. Very beautiful. As authentic as it gets outside of mainland China, our first stop is Harbor City Dim Sum. Okay, so we just walked into Harbor City here. Um, there's a bit of a wait. You can see it's very popular. So, it's a good um, sign. Yeah, yeah, it's a very good sign if a place is popping like this. It's also, I mean, Saturday breakfast dim sum. It's a tradition, so everyone's gonna come today. So. Fried tofu. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Barbecue pork. Those are the beef. Yeah, some ribs. Beef short rib. Yeah. Some shrimp. Shoe Yep. And that's like a daikon cake. Daikon cake. Did you order that one? Yeah. And there's some more coming, so we're gonna start chowing down on what we got. So this is what's inside of the grape. Quickly for afternoons, it's uh, rice with barbecue pork, I think. So here we have the beef rice roll and the shrimp rice roll. Beautiful. <laughs> This one's amazing. This one's going close to the top of my list. I know it off the bat. This is 10 items. What? <laughs> so this is the Peking duck uh, bao sandwich. Damn, that is so ridiculous. That skin is like bacon. This is fire. Definitely worth a shot. Don't be sketched out by the carcasses hanging in the window. <laughs> they look pretty pretty intense, honestly, but they're they're delicious. And this is the last dish. It's a Chinese donut roll. All right. So at this point, we have tried everything on the table. So I'm gonna give my top three. So number one, 100%. It's gonna be that grape leaf wrap rice with the uh, barbecue pork. It was insane. Like do get that for sure. Second place, kind of different. Um, yeah, picking duck. <laughs> it's not exactly um, dim sum, but it's it's ridiculous. Like you, you have to get it. Uh, third place for me is gonna be this barbecue rice roll. It's, it's beautiful. It's very good. I have to agree with you on the first place. On the grape leaf wrap one. Uh, for first place. Uh, second place, I'm gonna say the picking duck. And third place for me was the shumai. He loved that shumai. Uh, it's right here actually. Oh, the eating one. Yeah. I agree, the shumai was delicious. I would easily put that as my fourth personally. What's your top three, Michael? Um, I would say the one with the, the leaf. That was my favorite one. This one? Yeah. The, the one that was wrapped in the leaf. Yeah. The, the leaf wrap. Yeah, that one. And then I would say I love this one, the barbecue. Barbecue pork rice roll. Yeah, it was bomb. And then my last one would probably be the peking duck. Yeah. Yeah. Fire. Can't go wrong. All right, there you have it. You really can't miss if you pick these items here, so. Sam Shepard is rumored to be on the streets of Seattle right now, folks. <laughs> We're gonna find him. Therapeutic massage. Yeah, that's martial arts. <laughs> oh no, it's seafood. Bruce Lee. What's his name? Thank you. So they have little mini plazas like this just throughout the city, which I like about Seattle. I skipped on. Oh no, Cairo. So we're here 
just checking out one of the markets in uh, Chinatown, Seattle. That's tight. <laughs> So here at Pike's Place Market, about to check it out. This is Matt and Michael's first time here. Pike's Place Market is a vibrant Seattle tradition. A place where you can come for produce, cheese, all manner of food and ingredients for cooking, not to mention plenty of arts and crafts available. You can also find exotic ingredients like these uncomfortably long grapes. They have gorgeous produce on Viva la Nuevo Mexico! Outside of just shopping, you can find a number of restaurants, bars, and cafes hidden away throughout Pike's Place Market. It's also an excellent place to snag something to go for a snack. You can look at the logo, Matthew, it's slightly different. It's the original logo for Starbucks. This one has nipples. <laughs> Mama don't know daddy's getting hurt. <laughs> It'll be hard to impress you if you don't like food, arts, or crafts, but the waterfront itself is just a beautiful place to come hang out if nothing else. It's a great chance to talk with a lot of passionate craftsmen and make some new friends as well. Hello, buddy. After exploring the market, we took a break at Maximilian's for a drink. Ignore these plastic bags, they're not illicit substances, they're actually just smoked fish. Yeah, there you go, Matthew. Your dreams are true. <laughs> Please don't touch it. <laughs> I guess I'm not the mentiness. The mentiness is overwhelming. I do not recommend coming here, especially if you have small children, and you're about to see why. Just don't eat it, buddy. <laughs> Don't eat it, buddy. That's gross. And yes, I did tattletale on this kid to his parents. You're about to witness a mythical creature. We've encountered a bridge troll. He has a hell of a schnoz. The bridge troll looks like he's not okay. <laughs> Not a Do I have any bats in the belfry? Oh yeah. This is the troll shit. This is where Shrek comes out at the beginning of the movie. Yeah. Somebody once told me. Yeah, dude, the troll totally has like an emo vibe, huh? There's eyeballs. He's like, my mom doesn't understand me. <laughs> <laughs> There's a tortoise out here. Don't tempt me with a good time. Oh, what is left of his head? That's very penile. Let's be honest, that doesn't look like a turtle. <laughs> what are we dealing with here? So this is actually a community project where they all work together to keep this moss alive. If someone doesn't come and keep this water, that moss is gonna die. Well, the Fremont Trolls emo and the turtles a boy. <laughs> So that's mycelium, that's the compost. That's exactly what it looks like when I finish with a brick that I'm throwing. I would definitely say if you've just had a good morning at Pike's Place Market or downtown, it's really not too congested out here. So you make a quick pit stop and check out the Fremont Troll. A really cool little park here. We are gonna try a unique flavor of Lay's. There's different countries with different flavors. I've tried like the Canadian chips. It's all dressed and it's like vinegar, barbecue sauce, and something else, but all three flavors. 
and that one's really good, the Canadian version. So this one we got in Chinatown in uh, Seattle, and it's a uh, grilled squid. So it looks pretty good, honestly. They make the squid look very appealing on the picture. <laughs> oh, man, you just get ass blasted with like a squid flavor. It's pretty brutal. Um, it smells good after the initial funk, though. It's like a, a it definitely smells like grilled meat. Like, it smells like a barbecue. That doesn't taste fishy even slightly. It's just savory and delicious. It's like tangy grilled meat. Tangy grilled meat. These are fucking amazing. I'm gonna give that a nine out of 10 for chips, honestly. This is like better than most American flavor of lace. Yeah, they don't, they smell fishy, honestly, but they, they don't taste like it, so. Those are good. If you fall, it's gonna bonk you. It'll bonk. <laughs> So this is the Lincoln Park Beach Trail. It's honestly pretty, uh, pretty, <laughs> pretty scary, honestly. So this is the Lincoln Park. I think, I think the band Lincoln Park was like themed after this place. Yeah. We're gonna listen to Lincoln Park on this beach, dude. <laughs> Beautiful, man. So if you, what you're looking at now is called the Puget Sound. It's the, it's the bay essentially. So here we have a bench. It's not just any bench, this one is dedicated. Uh, I can't read that, it's uh, it's like Nordic or something. So looking at the construction of this bench, quite low to the ground, uh, it is made of wood for the material that touches you, I like that. And solid metal frame. It's aged but it's still well constructed. Just sitting on it, okay so I'm a six foot guy, I'm like average. Matt you're a tall guy, what do you think of that? Um, it's not too bad. Your legs are a little elevated for like more than the average person, I would say, uh, at a bench, but it doesn't look uncomfortable. For me, it's perfect. I think at six foot, it's a perfectly shaped size bench. Now we have to consider the ambiance, the atmosphere, your sailboats. It's a, it's a cool vibe here, honestly. Very comfortable bench. Yeah, I'm gonna give it high marks. This gets like a 4.5 out of five for me. What do you think? So, so what's your rating for this bench? I would say probably a four. A four is solid. Okay, I'm in that same ballpark, so we agree. This is a good bench. That's cute. It's like a satanic cute goat. <laughs> Gasworks Park, so it's an iconic view of the Seattle skyline. Unfortunately, there's some wildfire nearby and it's kind of ruining the uh, view with a bit of haze. Not totally ruined. You can see the Space Needle in the city center for Seattle. Oh, I guess it's sort of a little riddle. There's all the Zodiacs. Leo, Cancer. Oh, so you must stand in a different spot depending on what season it is if you want to know what time it is. You are the center of the sundial. And so if it's summertime, you need to stand in the summer quadrant. It's like over there, I think, on the right. So this is the summertime. Is it one? Yeah, right now it's 1.30. So if you stand on the summer panel, your shadow will will become the sundial. So it's, it's one o'clock and that's what the uh, sundial reads. There's the gas works. Steampunk factory. <laughs> so here at gas works, you can actually explore some of the old industrial structures. I hope you enjoyed part one of this Seattle guide. Stay tuned for a sneak peek of the next episode on Adventure Senna, covering some more exciting attractions in Seattle and surrounding areas.
As always, thank you for watching Adventure Senna. Please like, share, subscribe, and hit that notify bell if you enjoy our videos.